everyone in this session we are going to see how we can uh, manipulate the list view we can query the list view records uh, using saucel or saucel uh, queries in salesforce so let's start so firstly what is a list view in salesforce so I'll, whenever we open an object uh, tab so the first thing that opens is the screen where we have some columns and in that column we can see some records uh, we can apply filters, we can change the number of fields there, and we can even have inline editing there. So uh, by default, uh, the list view which opens up is the recently viewed list view. So whenever we open the record tab, uh, the recently viewed is uh, the default list view that opens up. So uh, use Sockel to query all the public list views of an object. So we have the list view object, uh, which we can query where we have the S object type. So S object type is the reference to the Salesforce object. We can provide in the API name here and we can, will get all the public list views uh, of an object. Uh, so public list views don't include the list views uh, that are private to the user. Uh, let's see how, uh, how we can query the list view records using Saucel. So we can use the optional using list view clause. So this optional clause can be used to search within a single given objects list view. Only one list view can be specified here and only the first 2000 records of the list view are searched uh, according to the sort order of the user that has set the list view. Uh, so some examples are we can have this kind of like a social query find Acme in all fields returning account. Uh, using list view MVP customers. So there, there would be a MVP customers uh, list view in the account and we are querying that those account for all the keywords which have Acme in all the fields. So similarly in the second query we can see that we are just uh, ordering by the name and uh, some other conditions and we are querying the recent list view. Uh, so now uh, we can let's see how we can add records to the recently viewed list view. So as I told in, in the starting of my video, the by default list view is the recently viewed. So uh, we can add uh, records to the recently viewed list view using the for view clause in Sockle. So we can use the optional for, for view clause to update objects with information about when they were viewed. So when we use the for view clause in uh, the query, two things happen basically. So the la last viewed date for the retrieve record is updated. So Salesforce has an internal last view date. So whenever uh, a user opens up that record, this field gets updated and uh, subsequently shown in the recently viewed list view. So a record is added to the recently viewed object to reflect the recently viewed data for the retrieved record. And uh, the example here we can see is we, uh, this will retrieve one record of the contact and it's, it will add it to the recently viewed uh, li list view. So let's go to the Salesforce org and see it once. So uh, we have opened the campaigns object tab. So we, uh, as I told you, the default list view is the recently view. So, uh, but currently we don't have any record here, but if I click on all active campaigns, I can see four records here. So let's see how we can add some records programmatically here. So what I'll do is I'll go to developer console. I'll uh, op click on file, I'll click on open resource and I'll search for campaign. So we have that campaign.object here, I'll open it. I'll click on ID and name and click on query here. I can see that uh, without typing, I got the query in the query editor and now I'll click on execute. So we have four records. Now what I'll do is I'll add one record uh, to the recently view. So I'll have added the for view optional clause here. And now if I click on execute, so I have got one record and I'll refresh the screen. So one record has been added to the recently viewed without uh, the UI interface and programmatically we have added it, right? And uh, now let's say that we want to query some records using Saucer list view. So what I'll do is I'll just query this. Uh, copy paste this and I'll put it here. So now I'm searching that uh, all the records in the recent list view of, of the account which have test in any of the fields. So I'll click on execute. So I have four records which I got in the recent list view that have test in it. So this is how you can query the uh, list view records in Sockle, Saucel and update the recently viewed uh, list view.
so thanks everyone for watching the video and do subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future